Yeah, I think we, you know, we knew that from even just Colorado. They know they know how to win. Uh, this team sure knows how to win as well. So they're, you know, benchmark teams for us. And uh, we knew we needed to be better tonight. And right from the start, I thought we were really good. What was the difference? Was it PK? Was it just the systems? What was it? Uh, it was everything. It was that compete. I think every shift. Uh, you know, the night we didn't take too many off and, and played the right way. Uh, there's a lot of compete from the guys out there today. We were really prepared to play and prepared to win. So, uh, you know, it was a really good job by our group. Dylan, anytime you score, it builds confidence. But to be one of the league's best goaltenders clean off the rush, what does that do for you? Yeah, it was good. I think it's just it was an important goal to get that because uh, they score to make it 4-3. So I think it was uh, just uh, you know, good to get that uh, you know, to put ourselves in a spot to win. So I think that, that's more important than however the shot was or anything. It was just important to, to get the win. I was taking one, you know, off the shin pads. So. Was it, what, what were the kind of key ingredients we saw today that this group needs to carry forward? Uh, we played with pace tonight. We played fast. Um, you know, there wasn't much time, uh, you know, in the neutral zone for us. We, we kept it going straight up and getting back into their O zone. So I thought we played with really good pace tonight. How much more refreshed were you guys for this game compared to your earlier effort against the Colorado Avalanche earlier this week? Yeah, it's good to be home, uh, you know, for a couple of days at least. Uh, you know, it's the you get used to playing in this league, though, for everyone. It's, uh, you know, there's some long trips and, and not much sleep, but, uh, you know, sometimes uh, you feel better on those days. You're just, you're into the game. You're always in it, but, you know, it's nice to, to be home for a little bit and get some more energy for sure. Any thoughts on uh, Jacob Pelte making his debut today? He looked great. That whole line looked great. Him and Walks and Lou were, were awesome tonight. They played with a lot of speed. Um, they had a lot of chances early on in the game, honestly. I think they got us going um, at the start. They looked awesome. I'm super happy for for him uh, playing home on a Saturday night against you know, a team who's won a lot. I think it's a pretty special night for sure. His parents got to fly in and, and watch. So. Um, you know, it's awesome. I think it gives you got everyone in here a lot of motivation too to try and win for him. It's a pretty special night. Uh, makes it feel a lot better for a win. So you know, everyone's super excited for him. Dylan, it's hockey night for hockey day in Canada. And it's about a celebration of the game, and to me, this game had all the ingredients you could ever want as a fan or probably even as a player. Do you agree? Yeah, it was a fun game for sure. I think it was, uh, you know, it was a battle out there right from the puck drop, and um, they don't quit. They try and push you out of the rink and and play hard and. You know, those are fun games. I feel like playoff games and, and Saturday night here too. It was a or Saturday morning, I guess. It was it was a blast. Uh, it's four o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was a blast. It was awesome. I think it was uh, you know kids' day and everything. It was a lot of fun tonight. Dylan, they're coming off a loss up the highway there. What was the message? Because you really had a strong first period. Was that kind of the deal? Like make sure let's get after it right away. For sure, we just need to be prepared. Um, you know, one o'clock games there. They're, they're a lot different preparation. So I think even last night you're thinking about the game again, ready. Because when you wake up, you're at the ring pretty much. So, um, you know, I think the last game sat with us and it was a short turnaround to be able to play um, right away and, and have that in the back of our heads. So, you know, I said that that Lewis line right off the start got us going and we kind of fe we fed off that for sure. You don't, you don't see Milan Lucic fight too often anymore. Not many people want to get in that ring, but what does that do for your group when he does drop the gloves? Yeah, it's, it's huge. Um, you know, for him to sacrifice his body like that to get us going, and uh, you know, you love to you love to see it. To be honest, it gets everyone fired up. He's uh, you know, he's still the toughest guy in the NHL, and not too many guys want to fight him. So, you know, for us, it gives a lot of motivation, and and you know, I think it uh, you know puts that fear a little bit when when he's going and and doing that. So when he you know, he's playing like that. It's awesome. He's been playing great of late, so it was awesome to see everything that he's been doing. A couple, uh, couple of days uh, until the next one, obviously. The next one's going to be kind of a big one. Um, what do you anticipate the atmosphere may be in this building, you know, on Monday when Johnny comes back? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Uh, he did so much for this organization. You know, he's a star player. He's great on and off the ice, and uh, he's great for me to come in and, and see him and you know see a guy at that caliber so it's a lot of fun but he, you know, I think there'll only be a good reaction on him he, he did a lot for this organization and um, you know he's a key player for a long time okay awesome thanks guys appreciate it, it.